Hello guys, welcome back to an episode of Eco. Before we get into it, I'd like to ask you all to please leave a and subscribe and also leave me comments here for me down in the comments below. In addition, check out the description where there's links to my Twitter, Twitch, and Discord. Uh, Twitch for live streams, Twitter for updates on these videos and other videos, and Discord just to hang out and chat with me and the rest of the community. And uh, now that we have that covered, let's get into what the plans are for this episode. So, first of all, uh, I have learned... This is not super relevant, but it's just something that I needed to get done. Where is it at? This is smelting. Sorry. A little distracted. Um, where is it at? Is it in culinary? Is it in masonry? Milling. Here it is. So, I learned this just so that, because we had been working on it a long time ago and we never finished it, so I figured I should uh, just finish it up. Also, Brought over the land claim to finish claiming this land. So now it's all ours. And so for this episode, our next step really is going to be getting together, starting to do cement and steel. Those are our two resources that we need to start looking at to get into kind of our next steps. So for that, Gonna need to make a cement kiln. Do I need a blast furnace? I need a cement kiln. And I need to get some things queued up for these. And the shaper needs a gearbox. And that's going to need us to make, like, a bunch more gears. And what we really need now is some more mechanical power over here, really. So I'm going to go get some more windmills. Or we're going to go get some more windmills, and then we're going to go from there. Because the problem is most of this stuff can't run uh, because there's none of mechanical power there. So the reason we need to get into steel is because the next tier tools and all of the other stuff is all steel related. So to kind of make our progression and keep going, getting better tools, better machines, we're going to need some steel. It's also going to require two skill books and we'll look at the skill books in a second. I just first want to get the machines built because then the machines are going to take a long time to craft up. I just want to check out the milling recipes at that at our uh, grain mill in our kitchen just to see if there's anything cool you can make with it. There we go, keep that running. Grab some of those. Actually, shouldn't grab those two items because they're foods that we're gonna need. I can grab some of those. That's too many. More reasonable. So now, to be anything else. 
else over here? I don't think so. Oh, is the bricks? We don't have bricks over here. Bricks are up top. It's so nice to have such a so much faster a car. We need the bricks for the blast furnace, I believe. Just need some. Not a bunch. And we have a bunch of stone over there we can make our new windmill with. And I can actually make the turn now with it four wide like this all the way. Which, by the way, I did change. That's a weird graphic glitch right there. If anyone else is seeing that, like, weird line. It's like screen tearing, but really weird. He's just got, like, a shadow, which is not something I usually see in screen tearing. Maybe it's got to do with the meteorite. 58 days left. Probably set it like here. Set this to columns. go. Greater amount of mechanical power over here, which is always good. Drop that off. Is there anything else in here? No, there's not. All right. Oh, that's kind of cool. I didn't know it did that. Put in all the work on that. And also we have... I think we have one in here. Uh, no, that's a restaurant. Where is it at? Oh, it must have been used... Oh yeah, because used one on the car and one in here. We're gonna need another... Where is it at? Ooh, rolling mill. That's steel, I forgot. Um... What is it called? It's not in here. We're gonna need another portable steam engine. So order some screws, plates. We need some more pipes. This is pretty much what the end game of this game is like. We need more iron. Four, twenty-three, twenty-two. Oh, there we go. It's as much as we actually. Let's just order up like a hundred. Put all the work in. This is how I'm going to do this because it'll make it easier. Concentrated iron. Dread. 100. 
And then we'll just go get them some raw iron. Oh, why am I concentrating iron this way? That's not the way I want to be concentrating it. I want to concentrate it there. I want to crush it here. Crushed iron. Order that up. This is only for, from now on, for gold and copper, because it produces nastier waste than this dry concentrating. This, to be fair, only can be used for sand and that dry concentrating. It can't be used for anything else. We're going to need some more iron ore. And let's put a hundred on to smell. Alright, well, we're gonna have to wait a little while on this, and I'm gonna have to collect up a bunch more iron to get this going. So, back. Oh, actually, real quick. I should. This is started craft. Oh, it's still doing the sand. I need it. I think give it authorized. Oh, no, it's authorized. Okay. And that one's definitely authorized because it's been doing some crushing already. Um, and that one's clear. And this one. So we need to use, oh, maybe that's why some of these machines are out of iron. Yeah, they're not authorized. I can say, I have had a lot of iron. I'm surprised that none of these machines are working. But then I thought about it. So yeah, these machines are working. It's missing a piston. This is not making anything, though it should be making some screws. All right. Well, I'm going to go mine some iron so that we can get some more iron on the go and do some stuff like that. And then I'll bring you guys back once we have the stuff together to start working on steel working. Should we start setting up a steel working Still make steel making setup. I think we're gonna set our steel making setup up down here. He's just gonna need some water. Ooh, we laughed, max leveled out uh, smelting. That's cool. All right, so yep, I will be right back with that, and then we'll get into some cooler stuff. So see you guys in a little bit. Here we. Hey guys, welcome back. So did a couple things off camera. I got us our advanced smelting. Where's that? Here it is. I unlocked it, so now we can do the steel. And yeah, this also is gonna unlock a bunch of cool tools, but all, sadly, all these, uh, so it unlocks the steel tools, which is what we're next upgrade's gonna be, which we're definitely gonna work on. But it also unlocks the modern ones, though the problem with the modern ones is that um, they need fiberglass, which I believe is electronics assembly. Um, and you need, oh, it's an oil drilling. I thought it was, I thought that was a polymer. There's a skill, I think it's in the masonry tab. Let me quickly check to make sure I'm right about, there's another skill, yeah. No, no, there's advanced mission. Where's it at? I know there's a skill that's like polymers. Is it in baking? No, it's all just cooking. Paper milling. Composites, there it is. This lets us build some, like, complex, high-tier resources. Not super relevant at the moment. It's just, that's what I thought you needed to get fiberglass. I guess fiberglass is just oil drilling. So kind of the next path we need to go down is we need to do... Once we get the steel up and running, we're going to need to do advanced masonry, which I looked at the skill book for. It's going to be quite, quite a heavy lift. But we'll get there. Um, yeah. So we need to do that. And then once that's done. Uh, so that'll get us concrete and such. 
And then once we have advanced masonry all set up and doing nice, then we can move on to, I think, the it's industry. Then oil, it's called oil drilling or something along those lines. And then finally on to um, two inside of each other. Um, yeah, and then on to whatever's next after that, which I believe is, what is it? Um, so yeah, we're gonna go like this. Advanced masonry. Then industry, oil drilling. This stuff we can kind of do in parallel. It's not super important right this moment. Composites. And then electronics last. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of these electronics need composites. I'm not sure. I don't know. Substrate. Maybe this is what I'm thinking of. Is it substrate that needs it? Fiberglass and epoxy. It's just oil drilling. Okay. So maybe you don't need to do it first, but I want to do it like at a similar time because I feel like composites are kind of necessary for the stuff we're going to be doing in that. Oh, this is moss. It's not pollution. Oof. Thought we had a bunch of pollution starting to form. I mean, we do have a little bit of some stuff that we probably don't want to have hanging around up top that I should take down below from mining some copper earlier. But beautiful. All right, now let's do what we were going to do, which is set up a blast furnace. Oh no, this is the outflow, that's the inflow. Okay, so I need to rotate this. How many advanced upgrades kicking around? We need one. No, I think I put the last one in the mill. I don't remember. Let me check the recipes on here. It might be able to completely replace that RS throw we have. Gold, iron, copper, quick. Yeah, I don't. We don't need this anymore. And we still need this for some concentrating, although soon enough, I think it's electronics before we can get the thing that solves that. So this is going to need probably to be placed somewhere else thinking about it. It probably needs to be down by the water. I, I don't like doing this because I know that it's polluting, but I don't think there's any other good way to do this. Because it needs water inflow here and outflow here, and this is probably the best way to do it for the moment until we can get the filter. Okay, so this needs, oh, this just uses fuel. What is it that needs, I thought we needed a steam engine. Or, yeah, a portable steam engine. Oh, we don't need a steam engine, that's nice. I guess not for this, we need it, obviously we're going to need it going forward. So it's not a waste, it's just not needed right this moment. I can put that back in here then, that's nice. We're also going to need a stockpile down in that area for resources and some windmills to pump the water. So let's start working on that part. So we're going to need some pipes. We're going to need a pump and we're going to need some windmills because we're using a mechanical pump. Because I can use an electric pump, but there's kind of no reason to if we don't need, don't need it for anything else. These pumps are interesting. Oh, 
I don't think I could have placed that worse, but full. So now we just need some kind of block. Which we'll just use some of the stone since it doesn't really matter what it's made out of. Just pull some sandstone out. Make it into, we want it to be like. And then I have the windmills. Of course, they're not in my backpack like I thought they were. I guess it's because I did put them in there before I... Yeah, that's not going to get us high enough up. Crap. I need some stone or some more bricks to build a quick little uh, nerd pool, essentially. Well, that seems to be actually enough. I don't need the other one. And this just needs coal for power. And our pipes be as I made a mistake in doing it the way I did it. Does not leave an open hole into water. It leaves a hole into some sand. Power, plenty enough. Pipes, uh, power, status. That's out of fuel. That's all it's missing right now. I mean, from running, it needs to make steel, it needs some other stuff like quick lime and such. But to just turn on, it's all it's missing is. So we give it some coal. I don't have to bring more coral coal over. Actually, I think I have some more over there. And the first thing we want to do once we get this is just make enough to get our um, just make enough steel to get our filter so that we don't pollute this too bad. I've noticed though in game that. Okay, sewage output, smog output, okay. I've noticed that um, this water, even though it's not polluted, I know it's not currently, we haven't done anything yet to pollute it. Um, it's already polluted. That's a very weird jellyfish. Um, yeah, it, or I mean, it already looks the way it looks when it's polluted. So I don't know if that's like a graphical glitch or if there's something actually wrong. Like if I, to illustrate my point, go to here. World layers, pollution, air pollution, none really. Debris, none really in this area. None. Player activity, that's. So no ground, po no pollution at all, but somehow all of our bodies of water kind of look polluted. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Okay. 
Oh, is this not big? No, it's not. Not big enough. I bet you we're like one block off here. Well, I know one for one thing, I'm gonna have to do some better organization. If this works, this will be nice, but I'm gonna definitely have to do some better organization in between episodes of uh, this area because we're starting to run into problems where like things just don't link up properly, especially things that need to link up. Is that? Is it this stuff blocking it? It's really annoying if that's what it is. The heck is blocking it? Nope. Oh. Finally, it worked. You keep getting me stuck in it. Oh, all our inner concentrate is in here, isn't it? Okay, that doesn't even reach, so that's kind of a waste. There we go, now it's got a stockpile linkage. It was literally one block off. They do need to do something about the fact that the only way I can transfer stuff into these like lumber stockpiles and where did that put that? Put it in the power cart.
Okay, so iron concentrate. This thing's got some coal in. And it needs to be given permission to this. 64. Um, steel is an iron bar, quick climb, what is that? Coal tag? So yeah, we're gonna have to set up some machines before we can do that, but we do have our first ooh, polluting machine and a very cool machine at that. I'm gonna get a good angle on it, how pretty this machine is. But yeah, this is our first uh, real kind of high tech way of production. So yeah, we're gonna go from here. Hope you all enjoyed.